shocker in sports, controversial merger here. In a surprise move, the PGA and the Saudi-backed Live Golf Tour are becoming one. As CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, the shocking decision has angered families of some 9-11 victims. After a bitter two-year battle, the PGA Tour and Saudi Arabia-backed Live Golf are coming together. We just realized that uh, we were better off together uh, than we were fighting. That's PGA Commissioner Jay Monahan changing his tune after saying this last year. Have you ever had to apologize for being a member of the PGA Tour? Fast forward to we've Tuesday. Not, we've been handicapped. We're a pass-through organization. We've not been able to reinvest our dollars uh, in growth businesses. And now this gives us the opportunity to do that. Monahan will be CEO of the new organization. This agreement ends a months long feud over Liv's poaching of some of the PGA's biggest names. But it's also eliciting criticism that the Saudi Kingdom is sports washing to distract from a history of human rights violations. The PGA has turned its back on the 9 11 community. A 2021 FBI report showed evidence that two Saudi officials provided support to at least two of the 9 11 terrorists. 15 of the 19 hijackers were Saudi nationals. Terry Strada is chair of 9 11 Families United. They are still responsible for the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, and they are still responsible for the murder of nearly 3,000 people on September 11th. PGA golfer Adam Hadwin was asked if he has any moral qualms. I've dedicated my entire life to being at, at golf's highest level. I'm not about to stop playing golf because the entity that I play for has joined forces with the Saudi government. We took the controversy to amateur golfers here in Manhattan. Shows the money talks, shows that we might see a lot more Saudi money in American sports. Competing as a group uh, and, uh, you know, coming out on top is good for the players and good for the fans. It's going to change golf um, for better or for worse. Uh, it's going to be great for the players, for the consumer. Uh, I think that's still still to be to be seen. With the merger, all litigation between the tours will cease, and the current schedule for the tours will continue. Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.